before we get into the actual project and the tool itself, we would like to state that the members of Group B, Negation of P, Live Life 8072, and the Texan Canadian take full responsibility for launching and development of this project. We hold no animosity toward the remaining five participants of Dramagate. This was, from the onset, our project, and from the beginning of development, we realized this endeavor could have turned out to be a wonderful thing for the community. But we also knew it carried with it the risk of blowing up in our faces. We hope after this video you will better understand why we felt the need to employ methodologies used, which without knowing the following details would seem pointless and reckless. We fully understand that intentions do not excuse actions, but we hope you will come to see our intentions were only to do good. We have always felt that the potential for this project is great enough to undergo the risk involved. Wednesday, January 9th, The Road to Hell. After discussing the latest series of drama between Matt Dillahunty and Thunderfoot, Negation of P, the Texas Canadian, and Weiss Apple began to brainstorm about a project that we felt would benefit the community as a whole. We decided to reconvene the next day and include Live Life 8072 in the next brainstorming session. Thursday, January 10th, Good Intentions and the creation of Group B. After Negation of P, Live Life, and Texas Canadian discussed the idea that was floated the previous night, we also realized that some theists view the latest infighting as evidence that the atheist community is fragmenting. So we decided to redirect the project in an attempt to develop a powerful resource to be used against such beliefs. Negation of P, Live Life, and Texan Canadian form Group B to facilitate the construction of just such a resource, which we designate as the tool. Group B members realize the pursuit of this resource will most likely cause them to lose their subscribers and potentially even harm, if not destroy, their reputations in the process. After an intense and lengthy discussion, the members of Group B agree the tool is worth the potential negative consequences to themselves. It is decided how the project will be launched in the future will be with a salvo from negation of P in effect crossing the Rubicon of this project. In order to facilitate the construction of the tool, Group B members decide to recruit an additional group of individuals willing to participate in a project that they believe would be beneficial to the atheist community of YouTube. This group of individuals is the critical factor in developing the tool. The attributes of each of these individuals must include, one, everyone in Group A must be people we know will fight for what is right regardless of how it affects their channel or even their own reputations. Two, group A should consist of people we feel not only are leaders in the community, but are beyond reproach when it comes to their ethics and morals. Three, if possible, group A should have a central figure. This member must possess all of the previously mentioned attributes and possess an extremely large subscriber base to maximize risk. It is agreed the best candidate for this position is Dark Matter 2525. Recruiting of the additional members required to construct the tool. The additional members are recruited through utilizing a series of emails, Skype conversations, and PMs. All participants are allowed free reign to determine the extent of their involvement and how they would like to participate throughout the project with little to no direction from the members of Group B. Most importantly, the central figure of Group A, Dark Matter 2525, enthusiastically comes on board. The tool. The construction of the tool is the true meaning of this project. Group B will, in effect, be conducting a study within a study where Group A members will generate the real data that will allow for the development of the tool. What is needed to construct the tool? One, we must create vitriol, loathing, and also plant seeds 
that cause frustration and confusion within the community to be directed at Group B throughout the project. Two, we will utilize everyone's propensity to gravitate toward drama as a catalyst to cause disdain in the community focused toward Group B. Three, this will generate a clean data set that will demonstrate how the leaders of the community react in a pressure situation. Four, most importantly, none of the members of Group A can become aware of the tool or the existence of Group B until the tool is released. The tool itself and its utility. One, the community's initial reaction will allow the members of Group A and perhaps even some of the members from outside an opportunity to demonstrate their rationality, ethics, and compassion, which the members of Group B believe the members of Group A possess. Two, when these individuals, and especially the central figure of Group A, comes to the defense of the smaller channels, it will serve as overwhelming evidence of how the community will in fact unite behind a call for logic, reason, and empathy. Three, when released publicly, this tool would be a definitive example of how even when our emotions run high, our community has the ability to step back and filter situations through logic, reason, and compassion. Four, the tool's ultimate utility will be to destroy any and all claims that the atheist community of YouTube consists of self-centered, unethical individuals that will turn on one another when faced with strongly voiced descending opinions and or high levels of emotional involvement. Friday, January 11th, Cohesive Front. With phase one going as expected, online discussions with all members of Group A bolster our hopes for the project and ultimately the tool. Saturday, January 12th, creating the tool. Phase two, what we felt was the most dangerous part of the endeavor. As expected, by using the screenshot and the song, most of the audience was outraged. Negation of P immediately jumps in to make sure the fire is lit and do what is meant to be viewed as damage control. Live Life 8072 supports yet contradicts some of what Negation of P says. The Texas Canadian follows suit with even more contradictions. None of the outside members of the panel seem to have any indication of Phase 2. All of the panelists are supporting the project. The panelists are remaining silent as a cohesive front, even when some of the members are using incorrect verbiage and conflicting reasons to justify the project. Remember that the last laugh is on you. Hey, boys, look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life. Always look on the right side of life. Fan the flames. Each member of Group B releases inflammatory videos within 12 hours. Which, one, must contain conflicting statements. Two, must be released somewhat together so as to highlight the discontinuities. Three, must not include any admission of wrongdoing. Four, some of us will pull down the videos in an effort to cause further frustration and confusion on the part of the viewers when reacting to each other's videos or statements. One, we never infight. Two, we must show solidarity for each other while continuing to contradict each other in our comments. Three, we must attempt to keep the fires burning by responding to comments so as to create the opportunity for the community leaders from inside and outside of Group A to react to unfair persecutions based on the stated benevolent interactions of the individuals under fire. Waiting for the heroes. 
As expected, an increase in percentage of the YouTube community is up in arms against both groups A and B. We fully expect channels both large and small to release important videos and or comments at any time that state, settle down and try to understand that even if you don't agree with the methodology, it does seem they are attempting to do something good. Why don't we wait until we see what this tool is before passing judgment? Sunday afternoon, January 13, setbacks, first meeting of Group B regarding Phase 2. This meeting was originally intended to be where Group B members would construct the tool and release it to the public. Due to the unforeseen reactions by some of the individuals of Group A, we feel it is necessary at this point to extend Phase 2, so as it gives those individuals time to respond. After deciding to delay release of the tool, the members of the Group B decide to instead use this meeting to assess Phase 2 at this point in the project. Failures 1. Two of the four members of Group A are not stepping up and defending the spirit of the project. 2. The largest and most influential channel involved, Dark Matter 2525, had yet to offer any response to Group B or the public. 3. The person considered to be the most vocal about his values, Meridian Frost, and also most expected to say, shut the f*** up and think about this, had yet to respond to Group B or the public as well. Successes 1. Two of the four members of Group A are stepping up and defending the spirit of the project. 2. Phase 2 is implemented without any of the members of Group A realizing it. 3. The community is definitely in an uproar due to all the videos and comments planted by Group B. Given the other channels ample opportunity to demonstrate, they will help when needed. 4. As yet, no members of Group A has attempted to distance themselves and or posted anything negative. Given hope to the Group B members that they will still, in fact, react as predicted a little later than expected. Sunday night, January 13th. Heroes and Cowards. Third meeting, Phase 2. Heroes emerge. As expected, some of the larger channels have put out videos supporting the spirit of the project and the individuals on the panel, even if they disagree with the execution. 1. Bionic Dance, January 12th. 2. Atheism TV, January 13th. Lots of people were like, what happened? A number of people figured out it was a hoax. They asked for evidence. Well, that was good. But even better is ignoring the drama altogether, which very few could do. We lost a couple subscribers and received a few messages from people who said that this drama was boring and didn't belong on this channel. To those people, I just want to say, bravo, I applaud you. You are the role models for the community. Everybody should follow your lead. 3. Noel Plum 99, January 14th. 4. Varmint Coyote, January 14th. Shocking Revelations. The vast majority of the YouTube community is already making assumptions and begins to staunchly defend those assumptions even when Negation of P reminds them he had stated in his first video, following the Skeptic Fence Show, that there was a tool forthcoming that would explain the purpose of the entire endeavor and asked for them to hold off judgment until the tool is released. Even more unbelievably, the majority of the leaders in the community are not stepping up to help the smaller channels that are being berated, persecuted, and even to the extent of receiving death threats. Most horrifically, some of the key players from Group A are beginning to jump ship and throw other members of the project under the bus. Some Group A members even go so far as to release statements that conflict with their previous statements that had expressed their enthusiasm for the project. Also, some leaders of the atheist community begin to express disdain for the project and even their fellow members. 1. Grappling Ignorance, January 13th. 2. Dark Matter 2525, 
January 14th. Three, Meridian Frost, January 14th. I didn't change my mind today. If you go back and look at the videos that were actually being made, I was kind of doing a little hand wringing in the background, and every time I spoke, it was like, hey, I'm not with these people. I was I was not comfortable with the whole thing. Everybody was trying to go on this weird crusade, having live life and negation of peace, two people who, uh, I mean, they're good people. I ha I've hung out with them before. I like them. Um, they're just not the sharpest tools in the box. Four. McNutt's 2, January 13th. Monday, January 14th, Hoping Against Hope. Third meeting regarding Phase 2. All of the members of Group B attempt to give the dissenting Group A members another chance to reconsider their actions. Negation of P posted an annotation on his video after the Skeptic Fence show, announcing the release of the tool. Group B members hoped this would reignite discussions giving those dissenting members of Group A an opportunity to reconsider their actions, and decided to extend the project until January 15th. Thursday, January 17th, The Uncomfortable Truth. Summary of Project Findings. Negative Findings. N1. Our first premise was flawed in assuming that the leaders of the atheist community, at least the ones involved in the project, would act ethically even when their subscriber base was in jeopardy. In short, we grossly misjudged the priorities of these leaders. And two, our second premise was flawed as well, in that we did not expect so many individuals in the atheist community to allow the groupthink mentality to rule their actions. And three, the majority of the YouTube community will stand by idly and allow individuals of good intent to undergo persecution. And four, a smaller but significant segment, including some of the highly influential and most respected members of YouTube, will, when they deem atrocious actions as self-beneficial, in fact engage in those actions themselves. And five, the vast majority of the members of the YouTube community will make assumptions based on little to no evidence and react based on those assumptions. And six, even when informed that a hypothesis is inaccurate and more data is forthcoming that may allow for a better assessment of the situation, many individuals are unwilling to wait for that data before professing to know what is and will be the outcome. Positive findings, P1. Albeit a small demographic, there are individuals in the community who will rally to support those in need, demonstrating that their values are more important than social acceptance, P2. When given the opportunity, the same number of individuals from Group A did remain true to their convictions as those who attempted to reverse their positions. P3. There are individuals within the community that do possess both the ability to lead and adhere to their ethical principles. Utility. U1. Exposure to this reality of the condition of their community. One has the opportunity to make significant changes to both themselves and to the populace. You too. The tool serves as an example to spark conversation and action by the community to form a more unified and supportive environment for its members. Shattered hopes. Personal assessment from the members of Group B. The above findings have forced all Group B members to come to the crushing realization that due to these negative conclusions, we can no longer be a part of the YouTube atheist community. Even though we, the members of Group B, are disheartened by this missed opportunity on the part of the atheist YouTube community to demonstrate that we have a truly rational and compassionate community, we do take solace in the hope that some of you may utilize this tool to make potentially long-lasting and meaningful changes in your community. We apologize for all drama that this project has caused in the past, now, or in the future. And we know that stating that we never intended to harm anyone does not alleviate the drama and stress we caused, and for that we are truly sorry. The truth is not always what we would like it to be, as we have clearly discovered by this project. However, we all feel that the only way to make changes is to confront the truth and react and try to affect change if necessary. Most importantly, none of us harbor any ill will toward any of you, and we fully understand that we created the situation. So any animosity that has been generated toward us was due to our willing participation and creation of this project. We only hope those of you that did act in a negative manner will be reminded of this project the next time you feel the need to react in such a way. Farewell. 
This video is now published on all of our personal YouTube channels and the Skeptic Fence YouTube channel. And it's been published under public domain, so please copy, distribute, and use it as you see fit. You have 24 hours from now before our channels will be closing. To be clear, none of us will be returning to YouTube, and this will also be the end of the Skeptic Fence Show. For the many individuals out there who have supported us, regardless of any assumptions you might have made, we would like to say thank you for getting it. Thank you for acting in a way that demonstrates the best of humanity. Make no mistake, we will miss you, and we encourage you to strive to become one of the future leaders that YouTube so desperately needs. I hope you all find truth, not capital T truth. Live life, because you only have one. Goodbye.